Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a flying warrior flow. So we're gonna have some fun adding some flying motion to our warrior poses. To start with our warm up though, come to an easy seat. Make sure you've got your sits bones grounded into the earth. Long spine extending tall through the crown of your head. And I've got one foot in front of the other. Um, don't wanna have crossed legs. Don't need to worry about stacking legs on top of one another for today's warm up. Just one foot in front of the other. Feet are gently rotating open so that you're comfortable on the floor. We'll start here activating our Mula Bunda breath. So inhaling into your belly, expanding in all directions and exhale, squeeze your air in and up, exhaling through your nose. Inhale here, exhale. Strong sound with that exhale, getting that victorious Ujjayi sound. Exhale. We'll start adding some movement to this. So continuing the breath as you inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fists come to low belly and we'll like lean slightly backwards, still extending tall through the spine, starting to activate our core, warming up our spine and our abdominal wall at the same time. Inhale. And if you want to add a little bit of flight to this, if it feels good, you can come slightly onto your knees, really lifting up, starting to activate your legs. Exhale, leaning back again. Inhale up. Exhale. Last time here, inhaling. Exhale. Very nice. This time, inhale up. And exhale, twist to the right. So twist is going to come from your core from your oblique muscles, side body, hands just gently rest, left hand onto right knee, right hand reaches behind you, still extending tall through the crown of your head, and still maintaining that Mula Bandha breath even while we're twisting. Very nice, gently release that, now we'll switch legs. So left leg now is in front, Still in that easy seat position, getting back into our Mula Bandha breath if we happen to misplace it for a second. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale. Think about expanding your low belly in 360 degree direction, then exhale, squeezing everything in and up. Inhale. getting that movement so inhale reaches you forward exhales you lean a little bit back starting to tap into your core strength inhale exhale very nice this is a great simple warm-up should feel so good getting you ready for what we've got coming today and if you want take that little flight a little bit further lifting up onto the knees exhale leaning back inhale Exhale, very nice last one of these. Inhale lifts you up and exhale this time twisting. Remember to use your obliques and side body for the twist. Hands just gently rest and you can use those to lift you taller. Make sure that you're not starting to slouch anything like that. So long spine. Center. So from here, we're going to make our way to a down dog position. So starting in hands and knees, strong fingertips firmly grounded into the floor, strong ring of the palm, light in the heel of your hand. Come onto your toes, starting to lift into a down dog. You can pedal out your feet here or walk the dog if you prefer. Starting to warm up the backs of your legs. And from here, bending both knees and elbows, so getting really deep, you're gonna wave yourself forward into plank. You can, if you notice you're too far forward over your wrists, you can step back a little bit, coming into your high plank. Plant your knees onto the ground, we're gonna lower through chaturanga. So, keeping a healthy shoulder alignment there. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself up. You can come into a baby cobra. It's uh, great for back strength, as well as we're not super warm yet. So, come into a little baby cobra and exhale. Inhale, lifting in and up through your deep 
core, you can come stay on your knees. If that's easier for you, pressing back into down dog. Pedal out your feet again. From here, just letting your heels make their way towards the earth. Start with slightly bent knees, wave your spine long, that'll create space for your neck and shoulders. And then you can start pressing your heels back towards the earth. Don't worry about them touching the ground. You don't have to force it, let gravity do its thing. Our legs aren't super warm yet, so we'll, we'll let them get closer to earth naturally instead of forcing it. Now from here, you're gonna slight bend in your knees and elbows, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee into chest for core plank, really lifting in and up, creating a lot of space to step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. You're gonna bend your back knee, roll yourself in and up, coming into a high lunge position. And from here, we're gonna come into warrior one. So take your back foot, let it plant naturally on the earth, kind of at an angle. You have knees and ankles and toes all in line. Your hips are gonna be in a diagonal direction. You don't wanna twerk your hips forward. Hips stay diagonal, twist with the upper body to come into your warrior one pose. And from here to add a little flying motion, you're gonna inhale, reach up, exhale, come through fists of fire, low belly, lean forward, exhale, hands extend behind you for your airplane or flying arms. Inhale, lift up. Inhale, inhale, lift up, exhale, very nice this time as you inhale, lifting back up off of the back foot, coming into back to that high lunge, we're going to take that flight a little bit deeper, so inhaling here, exhale through fists of fire, leaning forward if you want, you can step a little bit up your mat, really ground into the earth with your right foot and just fly the back leg up a moment. Inhale here, exhale, coming into that flight. You can, of course, keep your back foot on the ground and work your way up to this. Exhale, very nice. Now from here, stepping back and grounding your back foot onto the ground again, comfortable position. Now we have our hips facing the side of our mat for warrior two. So start with slight bend in both of your knees to extend up and exhale, pressing your hands out. Now we're in a healthy, aligned warrior two, and we'll fly this as well. So inhale, extend, fly your warrior two, and exhale, pressing out through the palms. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Last time here, inhaling up, and exhale. Now curl your hands to the earth, coming back up, onto the toes of your back foot, grounding your left arm or palm into the earth. Extend the right arm to the sky. We did a lot of work on that right leg, so we're gonna stretch it out. So circling down and extending to that edge of stretch. Circling down again. Great for releasing any shoulder tension as well. Exhale. Coming to that edge of stretch, if you want, you can rotate your palm and wrap it behind you as you hold this pose for a couple of breaths, really stretching out that right leg. If it feels good, you can even drop your left heel closer to the earth. Remembering to maintain that long spine. And from here, circling the right arm back down, bending your right knee. Stepping your right foot back to your plank position. Come onto your knees again. Lowering through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Rolling yourself in and up. If you want, you can come a little bit higher cobra now that we're a bit more warm. And exhale. Back to down dog. Woo. One sequence on that side. I'm sure you can already feel the difference. So let's even it out by bending. Slight bended knees and elbows to lift the left leg high. Exhale. Inhale, really lifting up in and up for that core plank. Left foot steps to left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bending your back knee and roll yourself in and up to that high lunge. And from here, grounding your foot onto the earth, naturally at an angle. 
Again, knees and toes in line. Hips are staying at that diagonal and twisting with your upper body. Arms reach up to the sky. Inhale here, exhale through fists of fire, come through low belly, leaning forward, fly your arms back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Very nice this time as you inhale up, coming off of your back foot again. We're back into that high lunge. You can, of course, step yourself a little bit forward if you want to do the flight for this pose. Inhaling here. Exhale, fists come through low belly again. Fly your hands back. If you want, you can lift up your back leg. Kind of like a modified warrior three preparation. Ooh, and hey, if you lose your balance, what happens? Just come back in it. Exhale, really grounding to the earth with that left foot to lift up just slightly. Inhale here and exhale last time. Very nice, this is definitely a challenge. Exhale, stepping all the way back now, grounding your foot onto the mat again. A little bit more parallel with your back foot this time. Hips are squared to your mat, so you're facing center. Slight bend in your knees as you extend your spine tall and then come into your warrior two. Now we have alignment with our hips and shoulders. And inhale here to fly your warrior. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, really pressing out through your palms. Inhale last time here. Exhale. Very nice. Cartwheel your hands to the earth, coming up off of your back foot. Right hand plants firmly into the gr ground as your left arm extends tall. We'll do this circling to stretch out our left leg that just got worked. Exhale. Extending to that first edge of stretch. Lifting up, circling it down one last time. Now holding the stretch for a couple of breaths. If it felt good to you, you can rotate your palm behind you. Wrap it behind your back, get a little bit deeper stretch in your shoulder. And again, if it felt good, you can drop your right heel more towards the earth. Deepen the stretch a little bit that way as well. And from here, circling the left arm back to the earth, firmly planting into your mat, step back to your plank, come onto your knees lower through your chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, long spine, roll yourself in and up to your cobra of choice, and exhale back to down dog. Very nice, pedal at your feet here, notice the energy now on both sides of your body. We'll do one more vinyasa there just to sink all of that energy. So inhaling onto your toes, bending knees and elbows, wave yourself forward. Coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Rolling in and up. And exhale back to down dog. And from here, just walk your feet forward towards your hands. And then Make your way onto the earth, coming onto your mat, and take your feet about hip distance, a little bit wider if that feels better, and just windshield wiper your knees side to side. It's one of my favorite ways to end my yoga flow. It just feels so good. Now we did some stretching while we were strengthening. If there are any additional stretches that you want to take, definitely do that now. And then whenever you're ready, just extend your legs out long, coming into your Shavasana final resting pose. Stay here for a few minutes to let the uh, yoga flow that we just did kind of settle into your body, cultivating all of that energy and power and um, resetting you kind of to a new neutral for um, 
your muscles and bones and everything. So it should feel really good to stay in this pose for a couple of minutes. I do hope you enjoyed that flying warrior flow. Warriors are such a fun pose. I like to add those little flying motions too to help you stay in the pose longer and get more benefits from it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again next time. So be sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when the next video comes up. And of course I have exclusive content for you on my League of Nerdy Yogis email list. So make sure you sign up below. Namaste.